What was the favorite meme that you've seen thus far? I saw one that was like when the Thanksgiving turkey comes out of the fryer or something like that. It was something along those lines like when the, when the Thanksgiving turkey finally touched down. <laughs> Unbelievable! There is no way that just happened! Instant classic with that face, that reaction following the Bills win. You're now an internet sensation. What was your reaction to your own reaction? I thought it was hilarious. Uh, I didn't feel feel bad about it at all, though, because it was a positive one. You know, I was actually... Something good happened to me, so I was just positive I can be a meme forever. I'm all good with it. And I'll be attached to that play forever, so I'm all about that. <laughs> Is it caught? Is it caught? Oh my goodness, it's caught! DeAndre Hopkins caught it! Describe the pure chaos that led to that facial expression from the oh, moment really? that the ball snapped into finally figuring out that D Hop did come down with that. I mean, it was a whirlwind of emotions because, for one, that, pl- that, that play that we ran in particular, it's usually flipped, so I'm usually on the other side of it. I'm on the back side of it, and Beach is on the front side of it. So we were getting in our stance, and Beach is like, hey, what do you got? What do you do on this? And I was like, I told him, and he, then I got out of my stance. I was like, hey, what do you do on this? Like, I, I don't know what to do either. So we, we had to tell each other what to do before the ball snaps. And then when the ball snaps, I got my guy. I lose my foot, and I lose my guy. So I, I look up, and I'm like, oh, my God, I'm about to give up a sack on the game when the play is over. And then Kyler gets out, I'm like, whew, Kyler got out. And I look down, and all I see is white jerseys when he throw it. So I'm like, I just forced the interception on the game winning play. And then I see him come down, and I still think it's an interception because I don't see D-Hop at all. I didn't see D-Hop until Andy's punching him in the stomach on the ground because they were all around him. So once I finally see D-Hop on the ground, I just snatched my helmet off and, and sprinted down the field. I thought the game was over. I didn't know we had two seconds on the clock either. I didn't know that at all. I snatched my helmet off, ran down the field. Complete amazement. I didn't know. I, 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 my mind was blown. And then everybody was telling us that we had to go out and run another play. And I don't know where my helmet is. Luckily, Marcus seen me snatch my helmet off and throw it. He grabbed my helmet for me and brought it to me. So there was a lot going on in like literally 30 seconds. All that happened in like 30 seconds. <laughs> I'm sure it's so great for you to have your buddy back, Marcus Golden. What is this reunion like for you these oh, past man. couple of weeks? Oh, man. It's been, it's been amazing. It's been amazing to, to just... I mean, when he left, I was so sad, you know, and, and, and even even when he had the stuff going on this offseason, we're trying to figure out what he was signing. I was lobbying, trying to get it, trying to get it back here then. But it's, it's, it's just, I'm so happy because it's so happy because I can see how happy he is being back. You know, I can see how much energy and how, how, how good he feels to be back and he, he's comfortable. So that's, it's amazing. Man. I, I owe a lot of my early success to Marcus, you know, uh, early on. Being a young player here, I was going through a lot of turmoil, and and Marcus was one of the first people to kind of tell me, like, hey, man, I don't care. I don't know what you got going on, but you are who you think you are. Like, don't let these people tell you nothing. You are who you think you are. And those kind of talks kind of helped me start turning the tide later in my my rookie year, and I I still still appreciate him for that and commend him for that every chance I get. Looking back at your journey, just describe the feeling when you found out that you were able to wear a C on your chest. Man, it was so big because that's, like, I, I, I did so much. And early on in my career, I did so much trying to redeem myself from my my, my rookie year that I kind of that was something that I wasn't even thinking about. I was just thinking about doing stuff the right way, cre- creating an image for myself that I thought was who I wanted to be on the field and doing all that stuff. And in turn, that pushed me into that light for the rest of the guys on the team. And for me, I wasn't seeing it that way. I was just seeing it as me honing in on stuff and trying to be the best player that I can be. And, Fortunately for me, there were guys that were watching me do it that way, and it, it, it did something for them. And it, I, I mean, it just, I got nothing but respect for all them guys in the locker room. It definitely touched me, though, to get voted. I was shocked for sure. Like I said, I wasn't thinking about it at all. Because still, even still to me, I mean, I'm in year six, but I still look at Pat, Larry, and Corey like I'm a puppy. You know what I mean? Like they're still my big homies. I still look at them like that. So for me, when I think about captains, those are the guys I think about, you know what I mean, immediately as as, as, a, as a younger player to them. So for them to, for guys like that to vote for me to be a captain was huge. I couldn't, you know, it was indescribable for me for sure. Talking about a young pup, Kyler Murray, how have you seen his growth here now in year two? Man, it's, it's, it's so fun to see because it's it's just fun seeing him ex- know who he is and and, and accept his, his flaws and, and where he's good and, and knowing which side of things to attack and how to go about it. It's fun to watch him progress over these over these, over the last two years. It, watching somebody with so much talent and, and and 
knowing that they don't really have so much development to do in the talent phase as far as the, the, uh, the being a teammate phase and understanding the way that things go like that and watching him take those leaps that it needs to be to be a leader, to become a captain. Man, it's huge. To, I can't wait to from 10 years from now to us to talk about it, you know. And I, when I'm on the way out and he's he's the old wild vet, then, you know, I can't wait to, for to talk about it like that. Like, man, I remember you coming in to, to you getting that C on your chest. It's, it's, it's pretty cool to me. This is really the first time in over five years that this team has some playoff hopes on the line here. What about this team specifically? I know we talked about resilience, but what makes this a true possibility now? Um, I think other than the fact that it, us being there, being the team that's finding a way to win the games that, that we lost last year. I, I look at a lot of games that we lost last year. We lost a lot of games by three points last year or, or less than six. And I feel like that's the difference between the playoff teams and the championship team to win it. They find a way to win. Just the type of hunger that you see in the building that, you know, I haven't really seen around the building since my rookie year with Carson, the guys and the older guys was around here, seeing them really set a standard for each other and go out and work every day. I really haven't seen that since then, so it's, it's really fun to see it again.